Adnan, Chris, thank you so much. Getting ready now for our co-feature. Time for the tale of the tape. Ryan Garcia and Romero Duno. It's funny, Duno seems like the old man in this fight. He's only 24 years old, but Garcia turning pro at the age of 17. He is only 21. He is the taller man in the ring. We expect him to be the faster man as well. Garcia, 5'10". That's tall for a lightweight. He also has the reach advantage in this fight. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are set to go our co-main event. 12 rounds in the lightweight division. First to make his way to the ring. Out of the blue corner, from Cotabato City, Philippines, here is Romero. Romero Duno coming in to the dulcet tones of LL Cool J, Sergio Mora. Love it. Romero Ruthless Duno, I'm gonna knock you out, LL Cool J. Man has a big right hand, training just miles away from the home of Manny Pacquiao. His idol in the Philippines, his inspiration in the ring. And Duno, with a big chance here, only 24, gets a shot at an unbeaten kid who has seen as a future star in this sport. And his opponent ready to make his ring walk, fighting out of the red corner, a rising superstar in the lightweight division, undefeated from Southern California. Here is Ryan Garcia! Ryan Garcia coming in literally with Superman's cape. Good looking kid, charismatic, and he can fight. Fast hands, the total package 18 and 0, 15 of those wins by KO, and only 21 years old. Looking for a test. We expect him to get one tonight. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, from MGM Grand Garden Arena, Las Vegas, Nevada, the co-main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing this schedule for the vacant WBC Silver and NABO Lightweight Championship. Brought to you by Oscar De Loya's Golden Boy Promotions and sponsored by Decate, the official beer of boxing. Hennessy, never stop, never settle. And brand new Grapefruit Crush, knockout flavor. 
the WBC president in attendance, Mauricio Suleiman, with NABO supervisor Gustavo Olivieri. Your three judges scoring this down, Eric Chang, Glenn Feldman, and Patricia Morse German. And when the action begins inside the ring, referee in charge, Tony Wings. Introducing you first, fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing black and gold, he weighed in officially 135 pounds. In 22 professional fights, his record outstanding with 21 victories, including 16 knockouts. Just one defeat, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, by way of Cotabato City, Philippines. Here is the reigning NABO lightweight champion, Ruthless Romero. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. Wearing royal blue with red. He weighed in also 135 pounds. An 18 professional fight. He is perfect. 18 victories, no defeats. 15 wins coming by way of knockout. He is the fighting pride of Victorville, California. The undefeated King Ray. Ray Gentlemen, you both see the instruction in the restroom. Right here is good. Right here is good. I want to put the knee to the head. Obey my commands at all times. Above all, protect yourself at all times. Let's go. Ryan Garcia comes in here with a lot of pent up frustration. You can imagine he was scheduled to be the co feature on the Jaime Munguia main event in September in Carson, California. His opponent arrested by U.S. Marshals just before the weigh in. So Garcia went through everything for that fight the training, the build up, the weigh in, and then he had no fight. On that card was Romero Duno. Garcia at that time did not want that fight. Chris Maddox, as you mentioned earlier, Duno suddenly became like the most dangerous man in boxing because Garcia did not want that fight for that night. Now he gets that fight. It was kind of wild because I would bet most boxing fans, except the hardcores, didn't know too much about Romero Duno. After the mid-September dust-up, most people did know of Romero Duno. Mm. This became an anticipated thing. But Brian, this is a simple clash of styles. Romero Duno needs the fight to be on the inside to win. Ryan Garcia wants to keep it at a distance. And you see immediately, Sergio, how fast Garcia's right hand is. Garcia, and he's able to land already. Garcia has some of the fastest hands in boxing, especially with that left jab and the left uh, hook. Garcia, last time we saw him on the zone, it was the Canelo Rocky fielding card in December. And he had a spectacular KO there as he throws in a quick hook. He's got speed, power, looks, charisma, the whole package. Can he harness? all of that, put it all together, and be one of the top stars in the sport. We'll see. Yeah, he reminds you a lot of Oscar De La Hoya. He had everything going from the looks and the hooks. And, you know, Oscar De La Hoya had that gold medal that springboarded him. Ryan Garcia doesn't have that. He's a very good amateur fighter, so he has got the pedigree behind him. Multiple junior national titles over 200 amateur wins. Hard right hand that landed and shook Duno. Garcia able to land that right now. He's down, he goes. Right hand and a hook, and Duno is hurt. Duno is hurt bad. Wow, it's over. That's a superstar performance right there, Brian. Garcia waited since September, and he took care of business right away. What was supposed to be the toughest challenge of a young Ryan Garcia's career ends in less than three minutes of the first round. Wow. Even in the opening seconds, Sergio, you could see how easily he was able to land that right hand. And yet, that was still a stunner. It was a right hand. He was landing the hard right hooks. That is just an amazing superstar first round knockout performance by Ryan Garcia. And you haven't seen Duno before. You might be thinking, where did they find this guy? No, Duno 21 and 1. Good, credible fighter on the way up. And he just got blown out. Romero Duno knocked out a fighter, an undefeated fighter, Christian Gonzalez in 2017. Since then, he's been on a destruction, right in destruction. Tonight, he got destroyed by Ryan Garcia. And you can see the champions in the ring, obviously Oscar De La Hoya, 
promoter for Golden Boy, but Bernard Hopkins, who also works for Golden Boy, is there. We'll be talking about B-Hop throughout the night. Former middleweight champion who moved up to 175, the way Canelo Alvarez is going to do next, because this one is already over. But all you can say is, wow, and how fast do you want to see him in there with the top lightweights in the world? That is incredible, Brian. I mean, for you to get a first-round knockout is one thing, but to do it against a very tough fighter like Romero Duda, who's never been knocked out. He has never been knocked out. Do it in that type of fashion. Incredible. And it was a thudding right hand that it looked like Duno blocked, yet it still hurt Duno as he got rocked, and here it is again. Huh. It had to be an accumulation of it or maybe that first right hand, and then he goes down. There was a right hook before all that that I've seen land, and there, Ryan Garcia put everything behind that right hook, and that right there I just think was a... Oh, that's the left hook Ooh, that did it. Glancing left hook, there yep. it is. Didn't seem like as much as the right hand, but that just paralyzed him. The right hand stunned wow. him, the left hook took him out. That's the right hook I was talking about, Brian. Wow. I mean, everything he throws is hard. But we gotta see that hook again. Look at that. I mean, it didn't look like much, but that put his right arm to sleep. It was an accumulation of the right hook, the straight right hand, and then finding the left hook. None of them landed cleanly, but it was the accumulation of those three shots in the first round. Duno hasn't even got accustomed to the power and the speed yet, and that's when you're cold, and that's when you can get knocked out. I tell you, he's done photo shoots for Teen Vogue, Abercrombie and Fitch, all that. Clearly, Ryan Garcia much more than the looks. Again, he's got an effervescent personality. A real sparkling kid, but the kid can fight. And his power is there. The speed, obviously world class. Let's go to the ring and get the final particulars from Joe Martinez. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes officially. One minute, 38 seconds. Round number one, referee Tony Weeks stops this bout. Your winner by KO victory, he is still undefeated, and now the new WBC Silver and NABO Lightweight Champion, King Ryan, Ryan Garcia! Garcia told us, hey, sooner or later, Everybody in my division will realize they have to fight me. He's not in a rush, Sergio. He's not saying he wasn't calling people out saying after I'm done with Duno, I want this guy, this guy. But he says, look, look, eventually I want everybody, but I have time. I'm 21. He's 21 years old.